You know, with so many things that we work on, it's hard to see progress. You work and work and work and work, and it just seems like you never get anywhere. But with a garden, it's different. That's one of the things that I love about gardening, is that you put in some hard graft, a couple of hours here, um, an afternoon there, and you can see the results of your work immediately. And the more you work at your garden, the more bountiful it becomes. Even now in December, so it's the day before Christmas, there's no one up here. I have the allotment field to myself and everything is quiet. There's a lot of things that I could be doing, but nothing is imperative right now. The, the garden has gone to sleep. But one thing that I've been putting off for a long time is putting in supports for my thornless blackberries. They've been growing for two years now. The canes have been dragging on the ground and I really need to get them up and elevated. So today I've brought some wooden stakes. I'm going to be driving them into the ground and I'm going to be giving supports for those blackberries for next year. And now is the best time to be doing it as well because everything has gone to sleep. So if I accidentally disturb some of the roots of uh, some of the other plants that are around the blackberries, it's fine. They'll recover. It won't be as, um, as drastic as it would be if they were growing in, in, in the growing season. So the light will be fading before we know it. So I'm gonna to get to work, get started on putting in these supports and you can follow me along and see what I do. And also, I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas. So it's Christmas Eve today and tomorrow and the next week I'm sure is going to be busy for everyone, having a great time with friends and family and overindulging, I know that I will, but I would just wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas and uh, there'll be plenty more in 2018. Anyway, the light is fading, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, these are posts that used to form part of my old chicken run. And I've had them at the house for a while, and so these are what I'm going to be using to build the actual vertical supports for my blackberries. Brought them in daisy blue and just gonna hold them in and get started. So now the first thing that I've done is brought the posts up here and I've just laid them out along the bottom of my plot which is where I want to drive them in and then I'm going to measure them out and then dig them in and I've got some wire and some eyelet screws to hold the wire in place. So if you look behind me, I've put in five posts. Six of them, actually. I thought it was gonna be five originally. I didn't have enough wood. The last two are slightly shorter than the other ones, but I think it'll do the job. Now, the next thing I need to do is string wire through them, and then I'll come back on another day and then attach the blackberry canes to the wires. So the way that I've built my support is that each one of the posts here is 35 inches from the ground. I've sunk them into the ground about another foot, foot and a half. There are two screws with eyelets on these. I think they're called vine uh, screws. Um, eyelet screws will do even ordinary screws. I ran out of these and I've got a couple of just ordinary screws further on down and I just wrapped the wire around those. Now, this top one is about three inches down and the bottom one is 25 inches down from the top. And it gives it a good foot off the ground. And then there's 88 inches between each one of the posts. And I've just strung some steel wire between 
and I'll come back um, and tie in the blackberries on the next calm day after Christmas. Right, so that's the last one with wires on, so I'm finished for the day and uh, feeling pretty good. It is uh, definitely a sense of accomplishment when you can get something like this done in just an hour or two and you can see the results of all of your hard work. So now I'm going to go home, have a nice cuppa and relax because it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas and I will see you in the new year. Have a great time with your friends and family and uh, also if you like this video give me a thumbs up as my Christmas present. <laughs> Catch you next time.